this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Hello and welcome to my first ever ASMR edition of my channel. I don't know whether I'm doing the right thing or if I sound like a complete twat, but this is what people want. So I bought a microphone. I'm sticking to the tablecloth. I have purchased a very expensive microphone in hope that this is going to work. So as you can probably already tell from the title, this is not just an ordinary ASMR video. This is an ASMR baking challenge. <laughs> so to put into context of how this is going to be a challenge, I haven't baked a cake in probably 10 years, I don't know, something like that. And just to make it even more difficult, I have to do ASMR. Whether you're listening to my therapeutic voice just to relax or fall asleep, or if it's to get turned on, then welcome, hi. I'm here for everyone. Click the subscribe button, please. So I'm not sponsored or paid or anything, so if you could click the subscribe button, and also like this video and leave some comments, um, that'd be great. Thanks. <laughs> Let's get me money. <laughs> mm. So just like last week, I feel like this video is gonna be fucking shambolic. So I'm gonna need a drink. So earlier in the year, I was given this um, bottle of crisp sparkling rosé strawberry cider. Um, it's by a brand called Copperberg. Uh, they do like a lot of good ciders, so uh, sponsor me. Thank you. I thought that this would be a good start to our ASMR experience together because um, the bottle is quite um, crisp itself. Is that, is that what you want? Do you want to hear that? Is, is this ASMR? I don't know whether this is a, a cork. It feels like a cork, but it could just be a screw cap. We're just gonna have to go with it. I'll try and not hurt your ears because we're all trying to relax here. This is a uh, Great British Bake Off's own Paul Hollywood baking tin and he said that it is non-stick resistant so I am going to go with the fact that I believe Paul Hollywood with all of my baking power because he's a genius. I believe 
believe him. We can do that. We have one egg. We have two eggs. I'm just choosing my favorites out of this 15 pack. We have a third egg. I don't know which one to go for. Um, we also have a fourth egg. Stunning. I'm back. <laughs> Listen to how fun this tablecloth is. Is that soothing? I don't know. Enjoy. I need to preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. The oven is now on, so it now says, in a mixing bowl, combine 60 grams of soft butter with the contents of pack one until it forms a crumb consistency. I've only just taken my butter out of the fridge, so I think that might be a problem. I know you didn't ask, but I'm a fucking Virgo, so you have to deal with it. Thank you. I don't know what to do now because the butter's not gonna get soft anytime soon. Should we just say fuck it and just go in with hard butter? I think so. So I need to weigh this out and I bought this scale today and this was 10 British sterling pounds and I can't afford that. If anybody would like to send me money, I do have a PayPal. This stick of butter is 250, so half of that is 125, so I'm looking at half of that. This butter is not soft. <gasps> Guys, it is 59 grams. I need 60 grams. I just... I am so chilled right now. That is now soft butter. So bag number one is red, which is really weird considering green is the bottom layer. So I need to combine this with the butter. <laughs> the way I said butter there has just reminded me of the video. Do you not know how it feels to not have butter? What if it was you who didn't have butter? <laughs> you want me to call Christina Aguilera? The pack split even more than it should have. Combine this and the contents of pack one. Fine. Whatever you say, Barbara. Ooh, look at this color. It's turning quite red already. a crumb consistency. We are getting there. It is getting quite crummy now. I don't know why I'm looking at the microphone as if that's what's filming me. It's looking like, like red Play-Doh now. I don't know how I should feel. Right, I need to mix one egg and 20 milliliters of milk and then mix until smooth and creamy.
he's not leaving us again. It, it's time for back to. It's very time consuming, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So I'm gonna finish this, stick that in the oven. I'm gonna create the next layer, the yellow layer, and then I'm gonna swap them over. And after that, I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do the green layer together. So, welcome back. Bradley has returned to help. It's unnecessary. Forgive him, he is weird. We have to just deal with it. So the green layer is in the oven. So, which is behind, yeah. Fantastic, thank you. Now we need to start making the icing. We have three layers of cake already done. The fourth is about to come out of the oven. The red, orange, and yellow are there. So, in goes the butter. Bradley's gonna be my assistant and cream the butter. I didn't know what it was, but apparently it is a technique that you do to smooth out the butter. Don't come for me, Mary Berry. We have the wooden spoon. and fucking whisper then. Yeah, but we're making this video at the moment. How long is that gonna take? Fucking ever. No, well the last layer's just come out of the oven, so I just need to put the buttercream on it and then do the last bit, so maybe like half an hour. Right, okay, let me speak to George and we'll text you. Okay, thank you. Thank you, bye. Speak to you soon, bye. <laughs>
video was a tough one to film, but we got there and it's finally finished. No, you're not gonna fuck up my cake. Stay away. Please go away. So yeah, give it a shot. Tell me how you get on, because if you've done better than me, then well done. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a massive thumbs up and click the subscribe button. And also make sure you click the bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video, as I don't know when the next one's going to be. Could be soon, could be never. What are you doing? Get the fuck off of YouTube. Um, yeah, so I'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. Yeah.